This is Anselominus venustus. It is also called graceful anemone shrimp. However, most divers recognize this guise as commensal shrimp. For the purposes of common familiarity, we'll call it commensal shrimp. If you remember from our video yesterday, anemones are poisonous. It uses its poison to paralyze its prey and eat it in the process. Then how can a commensal shrimp live in it then? Commensal shrimp would secrete a protective mucus to itself, which stops them getting stung to death and eaten alive by the anemone where they live. Interesting, right? There's more. To trigger the production of their mucus, they have to get stung by an anemone first. And that is painful. This process happens for several hours until enough mucus is made. The question is, why do you think would a tiny shrimp choose to live in the place where it gets hurt in the beginning? Let me know your theories in the comment section. By the way, if you're curious about its size, I'm putting my thumb here for reference. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.